So here we are in Central at the most wonderful fish shop. I'm gonna go and choose some fish, which we're gonna cook later on with my beautiful ingredients I bought with potatoes, fennel, olives, and capers. Hopefully, I'll be able to find a sea bass. Okay, so here we are in the fish market, and the fish here is unbelievably fresh. We've got amazing selection of fish. We've got a sea bream, uh, we've got a grey mullet. I think the, the sea bass is the perfect dish for this because it's got the nice amount of fat in it, so it'll work really nicely baked on the potatoes. Okay, we've got a lovely selection of potatoes here. We have spunter potatoes, a French variety called Roseval. One I really want are these. These are like a Charlotte potato. They're very, very waxy, so when you cook them, they're quite firm, but they hold up really nicely when you bake them, particularly with the fennel and the fish and some white wine. They will cook really nicely. I'm going to choose the nice sort of big long ones because you can slice them very thinly. Having potatoes with soil means they've just been picked out of the ground, so these are really super fresh. I'm also going to take uh, a lemon. I've got a beautiful Amalfi lemon. These lemons are the best in the world. So the great thing about buying these lemons is they have the uh, leaves on them, so you know how old they are. So if they have the leaf on, it's no more than maybe three or four days old. Whereas when they have no leaves, they tend to be put into wax. So they're covered in a wax, they can last six months. So we've got some amazing looking fennel here. This is what you call Florence fennel because it's cultivated fennel and it's got a quite a bulbous uh, base. Now this fennel is incredibly sweet. Now you can tell this fennel's fresh because you've got all the green sprouts on top, which means that it's, you know, it's just been cut. It hasn't been cut too long ago. So with the sea bass, we'll cut off the outer fins, because if you don't, you can cut yourself. I then take the fish and place it in a polythene bag. I will scrape the scales off. I'll then wash the fish to make sure that all the scales have come off, and then wipe it dry, get a sharp knife, and run along the belly to remove the guts and the gills. Again, I will rinse the fish wipe the inside of the fish so it's dry. With a sharp filleting knife, slide the knife along the backbone as close to the bone as possible. When you get to the tail, put the blade under the bone and slide out through the tail. Slice along the backbone of the fish to remove the fillet. Repeat on the other side. Place the knife under the bones on the belly and remove them. Rubbing your finger along the fillet, feel for any extra bones. Take one centimeter off the belly of the fish because the belly of the fish can be quite tough. Get the potatoes, peel them carefully. I'll then place them in a pan of hot salted water and bring them to the simmer. Once they've come to simmer, I will turn the temperature down and cook for eight minutes or until you can put a knife through the potato. So remove the potatoes very carefully and let them cool down. Once the potatoes cool down, slice in two centimeter thickness. Add a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of salt and leave to one side. With the fennel, cut away the top tough ends. Cut in half and slice in half moon slices one centimeter thick. Place into boiling salted water and cook for about one to two minutes or until you can put a knife through, the fennel is tender. So remember to cut the fennel horizontally, not vertically. If you chop it vertically, the fennel will have all of this, the tough stem. It won't cook properly. If it's cut horizontally, it's much tenderer. Take the cherry tomatoes, cut them in half, and then take the flat leaf parsley and finely chop. It's important to chop the parsley finely because you'll get maximum flavor from the parsley. I take the two filleted sea bass fillets that have no bones in them. I add one teaspoon of olive oil, a little bit of salt on both sides, and I place in a very hot pan, skin side down. Leave in a pan for two minutes or until you can see that the belly has gone white. When this has gone white, turn the fish over and leave for 30 seconds. Carefully take the fillets out and place onto a clean plate, put to one side. Add a teaspoon of olive oil to the pan. Carefully place the seasoned potatoes into the pan. Leave for two to three minutes 
until the potato gets a nice little bit of colour, almost golden brown. Turn the potato over, then sprinkle the fennel on top, add the two fillets of sea bass which you've seared back into the pan, add the cherry tomatoes, the capers, the black olives, the parsley and a little bit of garlic oil. Add a drizzle of olive oil and place in an oven for 8 minutes, 180 degrees Celsius. After 8 minutes of cooking, using a toothpick or a skewer, push through the skin and if there's no resistance then the fish is cooked. Take out of the oven, leave for 2 minutes, then squeeze a quarter of an Amalfi lemon, again a drizzle more olive oil and serve at the table. If you want to cook the whole fish and not fillet the fish, you can do exactly the same way, but it'll take about 20 minutes to cook.